Are we playing? No shit. If you've uh, watched the channel before, you know, uh, well, you may know, I've started getting into diesel trucks a little bit. Got the 6.7. I just bought it to pull my cars with, my race cars. And then it was too slow, so we put a big turbo and pump and stuff on it. Uh, but now, I've got the hankering for another truck. It's kind of like cars. Buy one, start wanting 15 more. Yeah. But anyways, I got another truck, mainly because this one's about to go under the knife. I'm going to do another turbo, a built bottom end, big transmission, maybe like a low six seven or six second truck. I don't know. But anywho, uh, I got the needing another truck because of this, and I was like, well, I need to go buy a brand new one so everything works right and comfortable. And I went and looked. I couldn't find nothing I really wanted, especially for the price. What I wanted was eighty, ninety thousand dollars and I'm not giving that. Around here, you can get a house for that pretty easily. So, what else is cool other than new? Old. So, I found a older truck. Um, I like it a lot. It's uh, got some things I want. It is kind of crappy condition, decent. You know, it's it needs some things. But, it's going to be a project. Um, I got a good deal on it, I guess. Back in my day, they was my day. I'm 25. Years ago, they was much cheaper, but now they've skyrocketed thanks to this whole truck scene stuff. But we'll show you what I've got here. Come on, Mary. We got an OBS. Woo! Eagles. Anyways. We got a 1996 F-250 7.3, and the cool thing about this one is, is why I got it. Got four doors, you know why. And she's a five-speed. That's pretty cool. Crew cab five-speed. Can't get that and shit like that. They got rid of the automatic. I mean, the manual. Now everything's automatic. I don't like it. So this is cool to me. Uh, I know OBS is like a big thing right now. Um, what I was saying earlier, I remember when you get these trucks for $1,500 all day long with less miles, better shape. I gave $6,500 for this one, and it has a slight problem. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I see them on Marketplace all the time, high teens, 20s, everything. It's ridiculous. I would never give that for an old truck. But I say we'll have that in it in no time. Uh, it's got a little body damage here and there, and uh, it needs a repaint. But overall, it's pretty good shape. The frame's nice. Most of the body's nice. Um, sounds okay when it does run right. Shift's okay. It's got good tires. It's got a lift on it already, tuner. I mean, I know how slow these things are, but it's got a decent interior. I've got tools in here because we're working on it. But it's nasty. We just got it. We need to clean it up. I thought it had leather seats, I was super excited, but they're seat covers, but they're very nice seat covers. I've never seen some that nice. We'll put a little stuff like a dash pad, clean this carpet up, maybe do one of them fancy space headliners. And uh, I don't know. The goal for this thing is keep it classic, but make it look cool. I've already got a really nice set of wheels for it, and we'll get to that as we go. We're gonna show y'all a bunch of videos every time we do something this truck. To me, this is a fox body and truck, so that's why I'm making a video of it. Normally, I wouldn't care, but I figured somebody out there might want to see us fix this thing up because I look for videos and I couldn't hardly find a whole lot other than just random shit. Uh, we got a cool hood for it. We're going to change headlights, tail lights, new grill. Again, we're going to paint it, maybe wrap it. I don't know, but we got this and we're going to keep it. I usually trade around a lot. But uh, Mary has a, a fetish for OBS. So there she goes. But um, she's kind of what talked me into it. But I will say when I got in it and shut the door. What? It'll be yours, Mary. But anyways, when I got in and shut the door and it clunked, I was like, I'm home. Because I like old stuff. Everything we got, 
I prefer, like I would much rather drive my Fox body or my older Mustangs than this thing. This is, this is too new for me. I worry about hitting shit in it all the time or scratching it, but well. yeah. But anyhow, it's a pretty cool truck. And what I was getting at, at the $6,500 bargain, I hope, it's got a miss in it. It has no power. I will say the passenger side injectors don't seem to be working. I don't know if it's a valve cover harness, uh, IDM, what it may be. If you all think you have an idea, please put it in the comments. We'll take whoever guesses it right the first gets a t-shirt or something. I'll send you something. But I've already changed some parts on it and got it narrowed down. We'll That'll be the next video, most likely. We'll show you how we fixed it. And, yeah, that's going to be a pretty cool truck. Let's walk around it real quick, Mary. She's got the old bullet holes. I'm putting some fancy wheels on it. But, man, I like these. These are me. I actually like them. I like them. It's classy. It's cool. I had a... a it's old school. It's old school. Down at the old school. Anyways, I had a taco with those on it. It looked pretty sweet. It was the same color too as what? Uh, the hood's jacked up for some reason. The bumper's in good shape. I, like I said, we got a nice hood for it already. You'll see that soon. It's greasy as hell because I've been working on it. Over here, Murray. Come behind me. Come behind me. I'm trying. It's dirty. It's winter time. But uh, the danger works. It's a good sign. Everything in it works, but it's got the fuel tanks in it, both fuel tanks in it still. It's not eight out of hell. It's got a little filler in it. Someone skimmed it and fixed the dent. But structurally, there's hardly no or any rust. It's in pretty good shape. There's a lot to work with. It's a good truck. But the five, man, the five is what got me. So there's that. Here's the back. It's also got parts in it. Nice. Yeah. Yes. It's got some fancy white lights inside of it. Set the mood. And uh, bed's not bad shape. Put me one of them fancy tailgate things. Someone's swapped a tailgate. It's a cool story about this. My buddy used to own this truck. He had it quite a while. That's his Instagram on the back. But anyways. When he had it, it was a very nice truck. And when my buddy, who I got it from, who acquired it down the line, he called me and said, hey, I got this truck for sale, you want it? I was like, yes, because I bugged this dude forever about wanting it. And at the time, he wanted quite a bit of money for it. I think he wanted 20 or was it 22? Uh, either or, I can't remember. Yeah, more than I would pay for it. But it was in very good shape. It looked really good. It, uh, I mean, it had, it's a 96 ball. I had little things, but it was a lot better shape than this. But I'm glad I, I grabbed it when I did, and uh, we'll make a cool truck out of it. It won't be fast, but this will be a cool cruiser to pull my cars with. I'm very excited to put a, my white fox body on an open trailer behind this thing and make some reels and stuff, rollers. It looks sweet. I think it's going to look really good beside of my car. Yeah, Mary's wanting it real bad. <laughs> I said to you, Mary, 10-5 today. I done told you you could have the G8. I've done took that so bitch from you. The G8 will be yours. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, truck build 2.0. We'll get into the 6.7. I mean, it's getting ready to get fast. Uh, I'm going to work with Maryland Performance Diesel, and we're going to put a big 85 on there, another pump on the frame, I guess, however they do that. And... Uh, big transmission and it's, I'm gonna make it fast. I want to like smoke blower vets because it's very comfortable. I'm getting older I and mean, it's nice to mess with a Corvette or a Mustang just lay back. <laughs> and it runs good now. I, I swear I, I would make the statement I have the fastest 66 miller meter 67 miller. It's miller time. Actually, where did I do my miller? It's in the back of the truck. Uh, 
I really do think that's the fastest 66 millimeter truck there is. So that's much moves. Which I don't care to let them hang either. I've jumped it. But anyhow, uh, we'll get this thing going. Next video, comment what you think's wrong with this truck. Again, the passenger side ain't getting no fuel. No, you have no damn hints. That ain't what it is. But anyways, comment what you think it is, and. Uh, Whoever guesses it right first wins. We'll reveal in the next video. Get it running. We'll take it out for a drive. We might even let Mary drive it. Might. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, we'll enjoy the crap out of this truck. It's going to be the Fox Body Truck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, 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 wait.